This is uh, Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. And of course, when I use the title Doctor, that is that what I had earned from the studying that I have done, I showed myself approved and I earned a doctorate degree. Just like uh, if you go to school for become a, a nurse, you receive a, a nursing degree. Um, there are actually doctorate degrees in nursing. Master, you know, bachelors and masters and doctorate degrees in nursing. You're not actually a medical doctor. But you have a doctorate degree that allows you to basically have a better position in nursing, in the nursing field. Then there's uh, people that uh, are psychologists and psychiatrists. They have uh, uh, PhDs and MDs with their PhDs. I have a PhD. I have what's called a... Right here is the pamphlet that the Universal Life Church headquarters in Modesto, California gave out and gives out uh, what their uh, belief their objective, their goal their slogan their advocates of a good life and a little history about the church it was founded in the uh, late 1950s and they first gave out their uh, credential the first credential in 19 uh, six, about 1962 and they promote no one religion their goal is to break down the walls around all religions because religion is the problem God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is not the problem. They are not a religion. God is not a religion. Jesus is not a religion. The Holy Spirit is not a religion. A lot, a lot of people want to put it in a religion category. Well, it's not. And then there are people that want to constantly say... Things like, well, your degrees are not real. They're not accredited. Well, right here, it says right here, all of our degrees are accredited by the International Accreditation Association. Or does the Universal Life Church lie? There's a lot of people out there that wants to say, well, the Universal Life Church isn't a real church because it's only on the Internet. When was the Internet invented? It was not invented in the 1950s or the 1960s or the 1970s. The late 1980s is when computers, personal computers, start coming about because I took a correspondence course in computer programming and my first computer was a Timex that you hooked up to a TV set and then uh, computers in the 90's you have uh, uh, Windows uh, ni uh, Windows 95 and Windows 98 and Windows 2000, Windows well, XP and uh, Vista and 
Uh, and then uh, Windows 7, well, I think Vista, then Windows XP, then Windows 7, uh, then Windows 8, 8.1, now uh, Windows 10. But when did the internet really start where the public could buy personal home computers, plug it into a phone line, and connect to a server to connect to the internet? When did it really start? It really didn't start until when Windows 95 came out. So computers can be easier to navigate and get on the internet. Nineteen ninety-five is really when the internet took off, and before that, you had to have a modem. You had to have uh, where you could put your the receiver on to the uh, modem of your home phone. It didn't connect directly to the phone line. You had to put the receiver on the. Uh, you had to you know pick up the receiver, yeah, uh, and put it on the phone line, and you had to dial a phone number. To wherever you wanted to connect to, and you connect to that computer. You didn't connect to every single computer in the world like we have today. You connect to one computer at a time. I'm not stupid, but there's people out there that think I am. And what got me uh, kind of, you know, wanted to bring this up is the fact that, uh, well, I saw something on uh, Facebook yesterday about Donald Trump's IQ being 99 point... So, I had an IQ test done. Of course, I had to have a psychological evaluation done. <clears throat> And, and uh, it was uh, done in uh, 2002 because my ex-wife, well, she was divorcing me. She was uh, saying a lot of things that uh, wasn't true. Long story short, my IQ... Uh, let me find that page here. Here is my uh, IQ right here. My IQ is score 91. Well, I was also going through these letters here, these reports, and looking again. And some things that I have uh, discovered was that, uh, the, and especially in this report here from uh, this uh, Forensic Diagnostic Center in um, Bysville, Ohio, the, uh, oh, the doctor, PhD, she got it all wrong for one thing. She had wrote down that I had said that I have a PhD in religious psychology, which is wrong. It's a religious philosophy, not psychology. I hate it when psychiatrists don't listen. Again, she put it here as uh, religious uh, psychology and not uh, religious philosophy. And then here, right here, is what gets me. Physical problems include scoliosis, severe arthritis, chronic back pain, and stomach problems. He frequently visits doctors with psychosomatic type complaints, including rash, itching, stomach ache, back pain, vomiting, diarrhea, migraines, and general... Uh, Malices. Well, the lady that wrote this, 
Oh yeah, here's what gives me two. Here, his high, uh, his high insight is poor. I mean, excuse me, his insight is poor. It is very likely his educational pursuits are not accredited. Right here she says not accredited. Didn't I just show you in this paperwork right here? Didn't I just show you in this paperwork right here where it says... All degrees are accredited. Do I have to shove that in her face? And the woman that said this, all these lies about me back then, was Denise A. Kohler, licensed clinical psychiatrist, number 5172. The other psychiatrist at the Community Mental Health didn't say all that. But the Denise Kohler did. And of course there's people out there that doesn't like me. And uh, thinks I'm nuts. Thinks that my degrees are not real. But they are real. They are accredited. The church is real. It was founded in the 1950s. Not on the internet. It was not founded on the internet. It was founded... You know, I could go on and on and on and on to try to teach you the truth. The problem is, you don't want to hear the truth because the only thing that you want to believe is your own lies. And then there's psychiatrists that types up lies and gives that information to the judges. Because they don't want to believe the truth. They want to only believe their lies. And then they lie on somebody and get somebody's life all more screwed up than what it already was. Well, for one thing, uh, let me find something here that uh, I think the doc, this one doctor did say was that uh, I, about uh, paranoia. Uh, where was it? Well, let me put it to this way. Back. Where did uh, she say that? Oh yeah, right here. He believes. He, I mean, excuse me. He appears to be paranoid and believes that one or more people are trying to harm him or set him up. Well, let me go, and uh, I want to show you something. See, I have a lot of paperwork. I have a lot of documentation. 